Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on constructing a Venn diagram with two sets. Now, what is a Venn diagram? It's a visual way that we can use to represent sets. And what is a set? A set is just a collection of items. So a set might be uh, all the students who study Spanish in a class. Um, and a set might be a collection of students who study Portuguese. And collections can overlap. So for example, there could be some students who study both Spanish and Portuguese. And in the Venn diagram, we use circles to represent each set. So this circle represents all students who study Spanish, S for Spanish, and this circle represents a set of students, a collection of students who study Portuguese, P for Portuguese. And where these two circles overlap, these people in the middle, they're in the S circle and they're in the P circle, so these people must study both Spanish and Portuguese. And those people who are outside of both circles are the people who don't study either language. Now, in case you're wondering what this symbol is, that is the Greek letter Xi. And basically, this is labelling this rectangle. The rectangle represents everyone of interest. So in this particular case, everyone of interest are those 90 students. And of those 90 students, some study Spanish only, some study Portuguese only, some study both, and some study neither. But our rectangular box, labelled Xi, represents all students. Now, the strategy is to always start from the centre of your Venn diagram and work your way outwards. So, can we work out what this centre value is, the people who study Spanish and Portuguese? Well, it says 33 students study both Spanish and Portuguese, so we're going to put the 33 here. So when we put a number in a region, that says how many people are in that region. Now, we're told that 56 students study Spanish. Now, that doesn't say 56 students study only Spanish. That is the total number of students who study Spanish. And they might study just Spanish, but some of those 56 students might also study Portuguese. So therefore, this whole Spanish circle is 56. So if we know that part of this Spanish circle is 33, then this value here is just going to be 56 minus 33. So 56 minus 33 is 23. And that means now the total of the numbers in the Spanish circle is going to be 56, which is what we want. Similarly, over here, the total of the students in the Portuguese circle, the total students study Portuguese is 61. But we know that 33 students here who study both languages, they study Portuguese still, so we just do 61 minus 33, which is 28. And that means now all the numbers in the Portuguese circle should add up to 61. The 61 students studied Portuguese. Now, finally, we know there's 90 students. I mean, we've got these students so far. So we want to work out what's outside of these circles. We know the total of the numbers in the whole box where the box represents everyone, is 90. So I just need to subtract these three numbers from 90 to get what's left outside. So we do 90 minus 23 minus 33 minus 28, and that gives you six students. So there's six students who study neither language. So just remember, always start from the center of the Venn diagram and work your way outwards.